Next thing, and what does it say? It's rolling on your screens. Ghana economic independence lost. Do we have any economy here at all? We have cocoa. We have diamond. We have bauxite. Right now, we are even going to... We are going to a certain level that is shocking almost everybody in the world. Titanium, very soon, is going to be mined in this country. Lithium is already here in commercial quantities. All the mineral resources that the world is praying for, we have all that in Ghana. What we don't have is common sense. Tribalism is still rife. One ethnic group is fighting the other. Two paramount chiefs in Boku. They are shooting each other, killing each other, night and day. They have juju to kill each other, yet they have no juju that can plant corn and cassava and maize. No. Their juju only kills. I'm yet to see a man who will say that I have juju. And that juju, the moment I enter into my farm, there's a hole that is not held by anybody that will weed the whole place and plant maize and yam. Africa, with that kind of juju, will be food independent. But our juju is making people sick and useless. I have juju that will make this woman barren all her life. I have juju that will make this guy, no matter how much he will study in the university, he will not be able to absorb anything. I have juju that will make this man urinate in public. I have juju that will let this woman menstruate all her life. These are some of the things that we are interested in. We are not interested, my brother, my sister, in things that are going to make us move on. We are not interested in positive things. Tribalism is rife. Religionism is all over the place. You don't belong to my religion, so you are as good as dead. I will bump a whole plane because members in there are not believing in what I believe in. How do we live in this world? Ghana economic independence lost. Why is it lost? Do you know? Watch the headline. Watch it. It says, IMF assigns resident advisor to Bank of Ghana. IMF assigns resident advisor to Bank of Ghana. Come here. Hey. Run the story. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has assigned a resident advisor in the financial sector supervision to the Bank of Ghana. According to the BOG, that's the Bank of Ghana, the resident advisor, Lena Chumu, was appointed after his request and will be paid by Switzerland State Secretariat for Economic Affairs. In a statement issued on February 14, 2023, the central bank added that Chumo will provide technical assistance to it and also help build its capacity for its banking supervision function. That's it away. Bring it back. Bring that thing back. Let me just finish with the last paragraph so that we can make more sense out of this. Watch it. It says what? At the request of Bank of Ghana. Listen. And fully funded by Switzerland State Secretariat for Economic Affairs, SECO. The International Monetary Fund has assigned a resident advisor in financial sector supervision to the Bank of Ghana to provide technical assistance and help build the capacity of the banking supervision function. That's it away. So you see, where is the independence? You chase the white man away. The white man who was giving you technical advice, monetary advice, whatever advice, you chased him up because our people were of age. We had come of age to do our own thing. Several years after independence, we are still inviting these same people to come and be our advisors. You know what that means? We voted the finance minister into power. 
the president into power. Today, all they are telling us is that they cannot do it. They need the same IMF to come and help, in quotes. The IMF has never been a friend of Africa. The World Bank has never been a friend of Africa. We have all heard about economic hate men. Anywhere in Africa that a certain mineral resource is discovered, in fact, that is recipe for war and disaster. Show me one country that has discovered something valuable in Africa and everywhere is peace and calm. Who are the perpetrators of these things? The IMF and the World Bank have never been friends of Africa. Why was Muammar al-Gaddafi struggling all this while to be able to bring the African Monetary Fund? Why was Muammar Gaddafi struggling so much to introduce the gold dinar? It was to neutralize the effect of colonialism and neocolonialism on Africa. Somebody won't understand this. My brother, we have a long way to go. Every day you see the dollar is rising above your city. What do you do to let your city get some prominence too? All the gold and the diamond and everything that you have, make them unique. Put value on them. And then you ask people to come and pay for these things using your Ghana city. It's like when some time ago, Mirror was selling. The Mirror newspaper was the one everybody wanted to buy on Saturday. You know what they, they did? Nobody was buying Times at that time. People believed that some of the newspapers were so skewed towards the government in power. So people would not buy them. What they did was conditional sales. If you want to buy the Mirror that everybody wants to read, then you must buy this in addition. The one that nobody wants to read. It's a marketing strategy as to whether it is good or bad. It's unto you. Think about it. If the dollar is rising above the city, hey, we have been placed in a unique environment. Our cocoa is unique. What stops our idiots in power from coming out to say that, hey, we have the best cocoa in the world and everybody knows that our cocoa has been mystified to the point that it's become legendary. All the way from Bioko at that time, called Fernando Po. Hey, we brought cocoa from there. Today, even that island that used to have that sweet cocoa is all gone, taken away and swallowed up by pollution. They don't have a single cocoa port over there in Equatorial Guinea. Even the original name of Fernando Po has been erased. It's now called Bioko. Is that not legendary enough to market our cocoa and tell the whole world that, listen, if you want our mystery cocoa, you must pay us in our own currency. It would be nice to go to the American banks and see that they are counting Ghana cities. It would be nice to go to China and see the Chinese counting Ghana cities or the Nigerian Naira or the Kwacha. No. We are rather looking for more dollars because that is what is more valuable. How would the nation grow? How would you have financial independence, economic independence? Today, the IMF is bringing a guy to come in and sit down in a nice way, give you technical advice, but he's coming to lord it over you. What the IMF is simply saying is that if you don't accept this guy, then you don't qualify for our loan. You are going for a loan. Look how much you are being humiliated. You are taking money from all aged people in your country. For the first time in my life, all my 48 years, I've never seen old people demonstrate. The last time I heard about old people demonstrating was 1948. Crossroads shootings, Christian Bob. Old people, aged. Today, I've seen them right in front of my very eyes all men and women who should be in comfortable retirement are picketing all because you want to steal their money from them to satisfy the imf condition to saddle us with more loans
Jesus. Come here. This is the black pot. A.K.A. Kukushunamu. When we return, we have more. Hey! Kawuri! Blackboard. 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 Cuckoo show.